until they clock out and then they wind up with unfinished work and then <laughs> and then they're gonna rush on to the next day and do the same thing again <laughs> yeah that's i see a lot of those uh, i've worked uh, for the corporate for you know about 20 plus years of my life so i see a lot of those wherein there's not much productivity because uh, employees you know are not trained with uh, mindfulness exercises like I was, um, which, you know, kind of creeps into the rest of their life where everything is rushed. Another thing is, you, you know, sometimes they say that um, if you keep rushing and rushing, you're just, we're practically rushing to our end. <laughs> Which is not a good way to live. But anyways, going back to tea. So here we are. Okay. Still trying to uh, enjoy the aroma of the tea. So when you check for the aroma, that also gives you a hint whether the tea leaves are still good for brewing or not. Um, in my case, if it smells... If I can't detect any more flavor in the smell, and then the smell, uh, for the case of the green tea leaf, uh, I would smell something like the leaves smell like uh, river spinach. So like boiled river spinach. So at that point, uh, that's the time that I, you know, I get to uh, replace the, the tea leaves at that point. So once you can't get any hints of the flavor by smelling the tea leaves, you know, uh, that means the, the leaves are done. And you, if, if you want, it's up to you if you want to replenish it and brew some more or call it a day. <laughs> okay. But basically, uh, if I still smell some, you know, some hints of flavor... And some sweetness on the leaves. Uh, let's say right now we're about on the fifth, sixth steeps, going on seven. Uh, if I still smell some of that uh, sweetness, it's still good for brewing. And sometimes I surprise myself. It's already ten steeps, and then all of a sudden, uh, from a bland taste, you get a big note of flavor, which is like wow, you know, kind of surprising as well. Okay, so um, you can see in my body language, I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, you know, those slight hint of uh, uh, of joy. You know, uh, us males, when we uh, enjoy ourselves, we're not really like frantic or flamboyant or jittery. Uh, us guys, when we're happy, you know, there's a subtle uh, body language that you can... You can uh, detect from us when we're happy doing something. Even if my smile, you know, I don't have a smile on my face. I'm just like, my face is like uh, very calm and serene and serious. <laughs> so you can still tell that I'm enjoying myself. Uh, given the amount of focus that I have uh, on the activity. Okay, so you might here you might catch me on my resting bitch face. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so um, where where are we? I think we're on the sixth or seventh steep already. Okay, so I think I reheated the water at this point. So. I choose to reheat the water so that uh, we can get more out of the tea, the flavor in the tea leaves. So the the idea is to uh, to infuse the leaves with water so it can push out all the nutrients and the flavor out of the tea leaves. So it so the water comes in and pushes out all of that flavor and then uh, replaces the space where those flavors are in.
and then that way the the leaves expand at the same time while all of that process is happening inside that guy one okay by the way i'm using a very the the smallest guy one i think uh but you can get a bigger guy one for bigger servings i think this uh this capacity is good uh this set comes with 10 cups so its capacity is to serve 10 people but there are bigger guy ones that can serve more or uh, serve using a bigger uh, teacup so pouring the tea is also an art so I'm using a uh, three finger hold which is the very basic okay it's not uh, it's not very fancy but it works so my preference is personally is to just keep it simple for the time being and then uh, later on uh, once we're you know very used to uh, the cer a certain skill we try to uh, nudge the level up higher so but uh, at this point uh, I'm still getting used to holding it in this position by holding it with my middle finger and my thumb on the side and then the, the index finger on top of the lid. It's pretty easy. Uh, I, I may suggest to just relax when you're doing that because when I started I was like very tense and the tenseness uh, because I'm worried about the hot water because the guy wants a little bit uh, you know the temperature is very high so it's really hot on the fingers so I became very tense at first so I tend to press down and hold the lid really tight so that because like I'm gripping the the side of the guy one really hard trying to endure the heat and then have difficulty bending my uh, wrist so it was it was uh, not very relaxing <laughs> when I was trying out the first time but what's even worse is when I didn't have the right equipment uh, when I was starting off brewing uh, with a, uh, a clay teapot set uh, that in itself is more difficult and I had a lot of uh, you know uh, times where the uh, hot water poured on my fingers really really painful uh, and it really stings but here you know as I've gotten used to uh, to the skill and I really decided to focus on relaxing my grip and my hold on the guy one and just try to focus on relaxing and then just not hurrying it up because of the heat you know and then plus I got used to the temperature of the the guy one with the hot water in it so I got to relax a bit and then started pouring uh, the tea gently okay and you know it works so the the trick is really just being relaxed and allow your wrist to bend gracefully and then twist 